Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about uh, principal uh, coordinate analysis using our software. And uh, as all of you know that uh, principal coordinate analysis and the principal component analysis are uh, similar. Uh, both, uh, both of them uh, are working on uh, data minimization or data reduction. But principal component analysis is uh, mostly uh, focuses on uh, shared uh, variants of multiple variables. When in the case of the principal uh, uh, coordinate analysis, uh, it's, it's works or it focuses on uh, on the uh, maximum uh, distance. So it's try to extract uh, the dimension that account for the maximum uh, distance. So in order to run um, the principal coordinate analysis. There are a number of uh, packages that help us to compute uh, PCOA or principal uh, coordinate analysis. So the first one is the vegan, and we will use uh, this vegan package for our uh, tutorial. Then I have uh, one ecological data, which is in the form of CSV, and uh, let's import it yeah. uh, from January. Yeah. Yes, say yes, then here. So uh, there is total of 35 uh, columns, and the uh, first uh, 30 columns are represented by the species abundance, while the remaining are the uh, factors like moisture uh, management, like different types of management. Uh, uh, far different farming system and here is a manual and also the users so this is our not uh, objective so we will uh, manipulate our data by selecting the first 30 column so in order to do that you have to use uh, your data here is echo is our data then i will subset uh, my data into first 30 column then Immediately, I will transform uh, the data using the log uh, function, and here you have to use a function plus uh, one. Or alternatively, you can use the this uh, function to yield the same result uh, with this one. So, uh, and you can um, represent all this code into e dot log, which stands for our ecological data. So type this and submit uh, to uh, our uh, studio. Then again, uh, as I mentioned before, the principal coordinate analysis is work is on what? On the uh, distances. So you have to use the brain method in order to calculate the distance. So there are a number of uh, methods like Euclidean, like chi-square, like the brain itself, uh, chord, uh, and uh, etc. So I selected the Bray Curtis uh, method, and you have to use the function here is a veg uh, dist, veg dist. Then e log means uh, the transformed and the subsetted data that we uh, feed before. So uh, type this and send it to our uh, studio. Then the function to compute in the veg and the package for the principal code details is pc. Or a, then immediately you have to feed e dot d. E dot d means it's what the uh, what me, that we uh, made for the distance matrix using the Bray Curtis uh, method. So type this and submit to our studio. Then you will get different result values like again value uh, even uh, after the corrected of different using uh, after the. Uh, correction of using different methods. Here is the eigenvalues. It contains all eigenvalues that uh, positive, negative, as well as the null. And here is the uh, relative eigenvalue. Uh, and here is the uh, corrected um, relative eigenvalues and etc. So you can uh, uh, you can get this uh, result. Then after, uh, in order to create the biplot. You have to use a biplot function and the result. The result means the one that we computed with the PCOER, the principal coordinate analysis function. So type this one and submit to our studio. As you can see here, uh, it's not uh, such uh, good. So we have to use uh, other technique in order to uh, uh, give a more clarification. 
Then uh, one thing to, uh, one thing I want to add here is you have to standardize uh, your uh, value. The standardization means uh, having of standard deviation one and to, uh, having the mean uh, zero. So in order to do that, you have to use the apply function. Then e dot log means that the log transforms data, uh, and you have to use here a scale center is equal to uh, true. So type this and here to R, then uh, immediately our species abundance uh, will be uh, transformed. Then uh, if I want to display, uh, if I want to compare both the transformed and uh, the transformed, but not the standardized and the transformed as well as the standardized, I will show you their difference graphically. So you have to use this uh, par uh, and, uh, and pro and then a column selecting having of one row and two columns in order to display the two uh, the two by, by plot side by side so type this then again let's run the first one is e dot log means is only what the transform the, the transformed uh, data using the uh, logarithm uh, function then the second one is with what is transformed as well as standardized so let's see both of them yeah so the more uh, close to each other are what they're uh, similar but the one that's furthest away from each uh, or so that that's the uh, adjacent uh, uh, variable is what they are uh, dissimilar so in this way you can uh, compute the principal uh, coordinate uh, analysis but if you are interested to shift or to reverse ordination of axis in the uh, by plot you have to use a function here here is the d dot axis one and make this negative one and uh, as well as for the axis to negative uh, one this will help you to what to just to adjust uh, or to reverse your uh, ordination the first one means e log is only for what? Only for the transformer using the logarithm function. And the second one is reversing, uh, reversing the ordination for, um, for the transformed as well as the standardized uh, data. So let's see. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, all about today's tutorial regarding to the uh, principal coordinate analysis using vegan package in our uh, software as usual if you have any question regarding the material provide uh, your uh, question comment through my uh, email as well as youtube comment box thank you for watching have a nice time